Hey, how's it going mateys? This is Captain Blue here over at CG Pirates and I've got coffee so if you've got a nice drink, whether it's cold or warm come and join in, we're going to do some nice simple stuff today so, as you may know from the last thing we did we made a nice project in Unreal Engine now what I'm doing to look around, okay, just so I don't confuse anyone is when my mouse is in the main window here I'm holding down the right mouse button and I'm moving around, okay? Just like you would in a video game. And I can use the W A S D to go forwards and backwards, left and right. And I can use E to go up and Q to go down. E and Q. Okay, this is just simple scene navigation. Now, we're going to use this first level, okay? Which is called the third person example map. Now, if I just click save, It'll just save it for us. And what we can do, okay, is use this to show you how to do some very, very basic things. So, firstly, I'm going to select this box. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, when I select this box, you'll notice here, cube mesh is just highlighted in this thing called the world outliner. And then down here, you'll see all these things, okay, that tell us all about it. If I just scroll down, there's lots and lots of stuff. Now, don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about it for the moment. We're just doing some basic stuff. What I'm interested in is this. You see this here with its three spikes on. Now, if you've done any form of 3D before, you'll go, oh, I recognize that. But if not, it might be a bit confusing. Well, this allows us to move this box. Now, if I take this arrow, and you'll notice that when I do, it changes to a closed hand when I click on it. And keep my mouse down, I can go left, I can go right, but I can't go backwards and forwards or up and down because it's what's known as constrained. Constrained to this axis, which is this direction. I can do the same again on this side. Left, right, left, right. Okay. Now, you'll notice there, we've got this in between the two arrows. And if I just click inside this little box, then I can move in both axes, okay? And of course, you would probably guessed by now that the up arrow goes up. Now, you notice something strange there, okay? Even though our man over here, or woman, is running around, okay on this floor when we tested it in the last part and didn't fall through if I get this arrow I can just push this straight in that's because it isn't really solid it's giving the illusion of being solid but it isn't so anything can go inside anything else in Unreal Engine and that is how we make a lot of things that look more complicated than they really are because what we're doing is we're really fooling your eyes okay all right then, so that is the move gizmo. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you in the next part how we use the rotate, and then I'll show you how we use the scale. <laughs> 